Well, tonight, MAGA in the Bronx. Donald Trump tries to rally black and Hispanic voters while President Biden punches back at Trump's record on race. Dr. Ben Carson is with me tonight to respond. What do you have to lose by trying something new like Trump? Well, in 2016, he won 9% of the black vote. In 2020, it went up. He won 12%. In 2024, polls show Trump gaining 18%, with Biden slipping to 72%. Still overwhelmingly for Biden, of course. Why do you think that the support among black voters in particular is increasing for Trump since 2016, decreasing for the current president, Joe Biden? Well, that's not just the case among black voters. That's the case among all voters because they're facing the same things. When they go to the gas station, you know, and fill up their car, they're feeling the pain. They're feeling the pain when they go to the grocery store. They're feeling the pain when they see the utility bills and their rent bills. Do you think that there are particular policy interests that the former president, Donald Trump, should be looking at, particularly when it comes to black voters. I, I'll tell you that the former president has said that he thinks one reason that black voters embrace him is because of his four criminal indictments. Um, and I'm wondering what you make of that. Well, he's making reference to things that have happened in the past in this country uh, that we all know were markedly unfair. Uh, is there still some unfairness? There is. But uh, obviously, that has decreased markedly. You know, just in my lifetime, I remember as a child going down to the Deep South and seeing whites and colored signs and people saying, be careful about this and be careful about that and the other. Um, and in the same lifetime, we have black admirals and generals and CEOs of Fortune 500 companies and heads of foundations and university presidents. We've had a black president. I mean... Things have changed. Are, is it nirvana yet? No, it's not. But it's moving in the right direction. Over time, the way people have looked at race and politics, particularly with respect to Trump, that black supporters of Trump are treated differently and villainized in a different way than, say, even white supporters of Trump. Have you experienced that? And what is your response to those who wonder why, as a black man, you would support him? Uh, have I experienced it? Of, of course, uh, because there are a lot of people who see anybody who associates with Trump as the devil incarnate. Uh, that's a very micro view of things. And we have to ha have a much broader view of things in terms of who has policies that work for you, who has policies that improve the prospects for your children versus who has policies that increase criminal activity uh, releases repeat criminals into your neighborhood to threaten you and your children, uh, lets people come in from all over the world, many of whom may be terrorists, uh, to threaten your viability, has energy policies that are driving inflation, that are hurting you uh, economically. Those are the things you have to look at. And uh, more and more people, particularly in the black community, are starting to look at those things rather than being led around by the nose.